Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kunstetic and I'm here with you guys today with a brand new video. <laughs> Wednesday it's Wednesday it's a Wednesday not only does that mean we have two more days until the weekend one more day until Thanksgiving but it is one brand Wednesday and on my channel that is a very big thing okay so for this week's one brand Wednesday we'll be using the brand Camille Rose Naturals in case you guys do not know I love Camille Rose Naturals their products work wonders on my hair but today I decided to try out some new products from the brand that I haven't tried out before so some products are oldies and goldies and some products are new so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video and as you guys know I love chitting and chatting during my one brand Wednesdays so today's topic will be five things that I am grateful for just that we're in you know the Thanksgiving spirit it's only right Thanksgiving is tomorrow we're going to be eating right tomorrow and all of that so that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video so before we get started do not forget to smash that red subscribe button down below and join the family because i promise that you will be back for more if you guys enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up and after you guys watch this video drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video uh, uh, uh. <laughs> So I'm starting off on dry hair. My hair is pretty, very dry. It's been in this afro for three or four days. But I'm going to start off by rinsing my hair and just making sure I detangle it before we get into shampooing. I just feel like my hair was just really tangled from this dry and still afro. So I just like to do that. And then I'm going to go in with my Camille Rose Natural Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. I love, love, love this cleanser. It moisturizes my hair so well. This is my third bottle of this cleanser. And it just it does wonders to my hair. As you guys can see, my hair was pretty dry. And just from the cleansing step, I was able to secure so much moisture into my hair. So I love that. I love the lather of this shampoo. Like when I'm massaging my scalp. I can like low-key feel it working in my scalp, which I actually like because I feel like when you feel the product, that's how you know it's actually working, sidebar. But yeah, so I went in, I massaged it into my scalp. I made sure to get my ends to get rid of all of that product buildup. And then I went in and rinsed that cleanser out. So I rinsed it out and my hair was feeling so great, amazing, bravo, hair for it one of my favorite cleansing rinses and this is how my hair is looking after i rinsed it out nice and moisturized curls are popping curls are present and curls are in attendance okay so next i'm gonna go in with the camille rose naturals coconut water penetrating hair treatment this is my first time using this hair treatment so i'm really excited to see what is do for your girl the consistency is thick but it's not like too thick so it's thick with like just one c not two but I went in and applied this all over my hair and it is so moisturizing. The smell is bearable. I was kind of scared at first because I'm like coconut water. Hmm. I don't really like coconut scented things in case you guys don't know. But this hair treatment was amazing. It smells great. The smell is not like unbearable. So it moisturized my hair so well. I was really, really surprised. I went in and applied a little bit more towards my ends because you guys know my color is growing out. And my ends are pretty, pretty dry. So I made sure to focus on applying that to my ends. And then I went ahead and clipped all of my hair up, put on a processing cap, and sat under my hair dryer for 15 minutes to make sure that we got that maximum hydration and moisturization that this product offered us. But look at the back of my hair, y'all. It's so moist and my curls were so popping. So I came back after 15 minutes and rinsed the hair treatment out. And this is how... Our hair is looking nice and fluffy and moisturized. Like, honestly, y'all, I wasn't expecting to love this hair treatment so much. I even went on Instagram raving about it. But, yeah. So, then I went in with my leave-in conditioner. I used the Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Leave-In. And as you guys know, I apply my leave-in in the shower before I get out to style my hair. This leave-in, 10 out of 10, I actually really, really, really loved it. My hair was so moisturized up to three hours later, which you guys will see. But yeah, so now we're going to move into the styling, the styling aspect of this video. <laughs> 
So I'm out the shower now. As you guys can see, I went ahead and separated my hair into four sections, which is always a first step when I am styling my hair, no matter what style I'm doing. I always start off in four sections. So today's style, what we will be doing is a braid out. And I'm probably going to put some perm rods at the end just to give the ends, you know, a little bit more feng shui or whatever. So to do our braid out today, I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Naturals Almond Jai Twisting Butter. This is an oldie but goldie in my collection. This twisting butter is life. I use it for braid outs. I use it for twist outs. And I even got spicy one time and use it on a perm rod set. But this twisting butter is honestly the truth. It is formulated with sweet almond milk and honey, which means that it has honey in it, which is a humectant, which helps us secure moisture. And for low porosity girls like me, that means a lot. Okay, so when I'm looking for a good twisting butter, I always grab my almond jar because it always holds it down for your girl. So we're going to be using this today in our braid out. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with this section in the back. As you guys can see, my hair is still moisturized, which is the most important benefit of applying that leave-in conditioner in the shower, okay? If you are still applying your leave-in outside the shower, then we need to have a chat. Like, slide in my DMs and let's just talk about it, okay? But my hair is a nice and moisturized still i went ahead i beat my face i had a snack i drank like three bottles of water and i was minding my business and my hair is still moisturized okay so get with it and then i'm gonna go ahead and take oh i'll take a little bigger section i'm gonna start off with this section in the back and go ahead and cook the rest of it uh, okay so i'm trying to record an instagram video at the same time so i went i already went ahead and um did these two the first two so i'm just gonna resume and just start off with the next section and show y'all what we're doing and start this conversation or whatever but i took this section so this is how much hair we're gonna use in a section and this section i'm basically going to make into two braids so i'm gonna go ahead and take that twisting butter i'm using the butter that's on the cap because we don't waste no product around here okay the consistency of this twisting butter is like it's thick, but it's not chunky if that makes sense. I really like it because it gives my hair a lot of definition and that's the look that we're going for today. So I am really excited to see how this comes. So after I apply a sufficient amount of that butter, I'm just going to go ahead and part this into two sections. And I'm going to go ahead and clip this up just so that she can stay out of the way while we handle business so this is our section for the braid out i'm gonna separate my hair into three sections doing braid outs with tips on is so hard and i completely forgot about that but i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i start my braid at the root all the way down i hate doing braid outs with tips on is so hard and I completely forgot about that when I decided to do a braid out so I'm just going ahead and braiding that all the way down to our end and I'm using the purple perm rod and I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure our end is on there securely wrap it up twice and then Pick it up so that's what we're doing so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue the rest of my hair as i talk to you all the topic of today's one brand wednesday is five things that i'm thankful for and narrowing it down to five things that i was thankful for was really hard i really challenged myself by doing that because i'm thankful for so many things but the first thing i want to say before i get into my list is we're all thankful for people. We're all thankful for things. And Thanksgiving is an amazing time to celebrate that. But we never want to be um, leaving that just to Thanksgiving. Like, you should be thanking people who you're grateful for throughout the whole year. You should be showing them you're thankful for them throughout the whole year. Don't wait until Thanksgiving and the holiday season to let and tell people and show people how thankful for you, 
how thankful you are for them you sh that should be something you're practicing throughout the year so that's the first thing that i want to say because i'm thankful for so many people and so many things around me and i make sure that i always show that i'm thankful for those people things or whatever it may be throughout the year so that's the first thing that i want to say and i want us to all keep that in mind especially going into 2020 practicing new habits and you know doing new things so the first thing that i am thankful for is life and i know it may sound cliche but i am really really thankful for life i'm thankful every morning that i wake up and i thank god every morning that i wake up for blessing me to see another day i am always 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 i always remember to be thankful that i'm able to start a new year start a new day start a new experience i'm just thankful for life and i feel like it's cliche because we hear it so much but it's facts like i'm really thankful for life there's so many people who were close to me and um played a huge part in my life who are no longer here with us um and i feel like that really woke me up to sh remember to be thankful for life every day you know so the second thing I'm thankful for is my support system, my family and my friends around me who consistently support me, who consistently push me, who consistently are here for all of my shenanigans and life changes and decisions and new ventures. I'm really, really thankful for you guys. I know that half of the time that I speak to you all, you guys are just like, you know, what is going through your mind? What are you saying? What are you thinking? And the fact that you guys never leave my side and you guys are always here, no matter if it's good, no matter if it's bad, no matter if I'm crying, no matter if I'm happy, like you guys are just always here and I'm really, really thankful for you guys. And I feel like I show that I'm thankful for you guys on a consistent basis, whether I'm randomly sending you guys money for lunch or I am giving you guys surprising you guys with something that i heard you guys speak about or ask for so i'm really thankful for my support system i don't know where i will be without you guys and i'm just gonna keep it as that because if not i'm gonna just keep rambling on so the third thing that i'm thankful for is my community and i know you guys might just be like well, what do you mean by your community when i say community i'm speaking of about all of you guys so my followers on instagram my subscribers on instagram i don't like referring to you all as subscribers or followers or any of that so the sole purpose of my brand the sole purpose of kinesthetic is not to sit here and only for you guys to learn from me but for me to learn from you guys as well i always encourage you guys to comment on my videos i always encourage you guys to share products share thoughts share ideas because i want to learn from you guys as well and that is one of the main reasons why i created my channel and why i formulate my channel the way i do because i want it to be a two-way street i never wanted to be you guys support me but there's nothing being reciprocated if that makes sense so i'm really really thankful for you guys i would have never guessed that in this period of time so i've been on youtube for a year and a couple of months now that i would have grown so much and i know that some people consider growth like numbers is growth but for me growth is more so how comfortable i am in front of the camera now how comfortable i am sharing certain things with you all and that is mainly like due to you guys supporting me and you guys giving me positive feedback you guys giving me positive comments you guys like vibing with me i feel the genuine energy through each and each and every comment each and every like like i feel it personally so i'm really really thankful for you guys like y'all are my internet friends slash real life friends so the next thing that I am thankful for is experiences that I have had in 2019. 2019 has been one of the craziest years ever in a good way and a bad way. I have learned so many things. I have experienced so many things and I'm really, really thankful for each and every experience that I've had, whether it was good, whether it was bad. It just changed me. Like the person I was on January 1st and the person I am today on November 26th is such a different person in a good way like i have grown so much this year that i was just like what the freak like i don't know but i'm just thankful for each and every experience that i've had this year because i feel like they all contributed to the growth that i have had personally professionally emotionally mentally physically throughout this year so i'm thankful for that and the fifth and last thing that i'm thankful for which kind of goes hand in hand with number four which is my experiences is 
the opportunities that I have and the opportunities I have had throughout this year, never in a million years would I have guessed that I would have came so far along when it comes to opportunities, working with brands, working for brands, um, collaborating with brands, collaborating with people, meeting people, connecting with people. Like, yo, the craziest thing, and I'm going to speak about this during chemists, but I met one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Like, Jayla Majet has been one of the first YouTubers that I have watched. And, like, I F with her so much over the internet. But I met her, and she was really the same person in like the same person in person and her and I are like friends now like it's just ridiculous so it's just crazy to me like how many opportunities I've had this year and how many opportunities I already have lined up for 2020 and beyond hey guys so I'm back I went ahead and braided all of my hair and put my perm rods at the end as you guys can see my head is looking like a whole rainbow okay so long story short I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough perm rods. My perm rods have broken on me throughout the years. My perm rods were breaking as I was trying to use them today. So I kind of placed them symmetrical so that we can have, you know, somewhat of a symmetric outdo, if you get what I'm saying. But lesson learned, I need to go to the store and re-up on my perm rods because I usually, I have a lot of the orange ones because those are the ones I use when I do like a regular perm rod set. But I feel like I need more of the white and the purple one. So that's what I need to restock on. But this is what my hair is looking like. My hair is so moisturized. Like the almond jar moisturizes my hair so well. And also as I was braiding the ends. Like y'all saw how my um, ends couldn't really hold the braid. But it just started like coiling up just because it's so juicy but i'm gonna go ahead and sit under my dryer maybe for like 30 45 minutes and then i will be back to take these bad boys out because i'm not grown enough to sleep with perm rods in my head i'm still a child when it comes to doing that so these bad boys gotta come out tonight okay so i'm gonna go dry my hair and then i will be back hey y'all so i'm back it's the next day my hair was not dried last night so I took the perm rods out because I cannot sleep with perm rods in my hair. And now I am back to take them out. I slept with some just because to the end of some of these were looking like a struggle. So I'm just going to go ahead and take these perm rods out and unbraid these braids. Hey guys, so I'm back. I went ahead and took all my braids out and this is how we are looking. Okay. Okay. Look at that fluff. Look at that definition and look at the shape, honey. I forgot one of these braids. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and took all of my braids out and this is how our hair is looking, okay? The definition, the shape, the shine, the moisture. I'm absolutely here from it. I love how my hair came out today i am in love okay honey so this is the final look and now i'm gonna go through and let you guys know my honest thoughts and opinions on each and every one of the products that we use today okay okay so the first product that we used in today's video was the camille rose sweet ginger cleansing rinse and you guys, this rinse I have used over and over again. I just cracked open my third bottle for this video. I finished two in general in life. And this cleansing rinse is so amazing. It's formulated with castor and aniseed oil. And it just moisturizes my hair so well while it's cleansing it, which I absolutely love. This product is also free of parabens and phytolates. I think that's how you say it. So I would highly recommend to try this sweet ginger cleansing rinse if you haven't tried it already. So the next product we used today was a Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Penetrating Hair Treatment. This hair treatment was amazing. Like the moisture I gave to my hair and the slip that it has is amazing. 
And I have seen this product time and time again, working with Camille Rose. You know, people come over and people are buying the product, buying the product. And I finally decided to try it and I absolutely love it. But the smell is bearable to me, so it's not as strong as some other coconut scented products that I have tried. So I'm absolutely here for it. And I also did not have to use a lot of the product to cover my whole head. Let me go ahead and show y'all. Like, I didn't have to use too much of the product. So I feel like I can probably get, like, four or five more wash days out of this hair treatment. So I'm absolutely here for it. I'm here for any product that can moisturize my hair where a little bit goes a long way so i would highly recommend to try this hair treatment the next product we used today was a camille rose naturals coconut water leave and detangling hair treatment which is she it's in the shower i tell you guys time and time and time again apply that leave-in while you're in the shower and i hope that you guys saw why in this video i sat out for three hours and my hair was still moisturized it was still juicy the curls were still present popping and in attendance so if you are still applying that leave-in outside the shower then slide in my dms because we need to talk but now nah, this leave-in was so amazing like when i first put it in i liked it but when i came in three hours later to style my hair like it was it, it was good like my hair was nice and juicy and moisturized so i can highly see why these two products claim to provide maximum hydration because they do absolutely that but this leave-in was so amazing but i can see myself finishing this bottle and buying it over and over and over again because it's so amazing same thing with the scent it is coconut water but the smell is bearable so if you are someone who you're just like ew coconut these two products this whole line is just like a calm scent of coconut it's not too like you know abrasive so i just want to put that out there and the star of the show the last product we used today which was the product we used to style our braid out was the camille rose naturals almond jai twisting butter as i mentioned this is one of my faves when it comes to twisting butters when it comes to products with braid outs twist outs i mentioned it in my favorite butters and products for twist outs if you guys did not see that video go ahead and check it out but this twisting butter is absolutely light like you guys see my hair the definition the moisture like it just gives my hair everything okay so if you guys have not tried this twisting butter i would highly 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 recommend it because it is bay okay it's bay but those are my honest thoughts and opinions on each one of the products that we use today. I'm absolutely in love with how my hair came out, how my hair feels, the amount of moisture I have in my hair. I am absolutely here for it. So if you guys have not tried any of these products before, I would highly recommend to try them out. All of these products can be purchased on the Camille Rose Naturals website as well as in Target and Target Beauty in store online. So if you guys are interested in trying these products out, you guys can get them from any of the aforementioned websites and retail store so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much camille rose naturals for sending these products over to me and yeah so comment down below and let us know one thing that you guys are thankful for also what do you guys think about how my hair came out comment down below and let us know have you guys tried these products before do you guys plan on trying any of these products out are you guys going to pick any of your products up for Black Friday and Cyber Monday? I'm hearing that Camille Rose Naturals has a sale coming for the girls, but I'm just saying. So comment down below and let us know. Share your thoughts and opinions. And until my next video, I will see you all later.